This video right here just shows how frustrated and tired the people are. So in today's episode, we have a name by Moses Njene, who slapped the political leader uh, by the name Bonafis Mununga, who is a Swapo branch coordinator during one of the political rallies uh, meetings in the mixed settlement just near Windhoek, uh, Namibia, saying that they're actually tired of being told lies or they're tired of fake promises before every election. So let's watch the video and see for ourselves. What is going on here? I myself, I know how to say it. Every mixer, 24 years here, and mix. You used to tell us liars. After you let get nothing, you can bleed us here. For what? Liars, liars. You can eat the I am have to eat the same thing. Take leg. Liars is liars. No one has yet, no money to touch my side over here. No one of you, no one of you. Far from my side, far from my side. Far from my side. They can leave my cup. And the issue is that we are on the who we are on the we are, we are we are we are tired from your liars. What is more important than the I'm not sure who they are. You have to go to the government. I have to go to the government. I This video right here just shows how frustrated and tired the people are by the different, the empty promises that are being made by different political leaders, not only the ruling party, but political leaders in general, you know. And, you know, so what this video basically, what the men in the video basically is saying is that he has been living in the mixed settlement for 24 years, but nothing has changed. The political leaders come there and give them the empty promises and they don't actually deliver on those promises. So it was during the Swapo rally meeting in the mixed settlement just near window when this whole um, commotion actually started. When this, so they one of the leaders was giving them was you know giving them a lecture, giving them um, telling them of the same thing that there is a school that is in the development program or there is a school that is in the pipeline, and there is also traffic lights and water and electricity that are well in the pipeline that I brought that will be brought to the community. And that as well, a clinic, a mobile, there's a mobile clinic, there's a mobile clinic in the settlement, and there's now also a, an advanced plan for, an, for, you know, for a clinic to be constructed in the community as well. So, and that all these things, they are in the development, they are in the national development plan now. And this is when Master Moses Njene, who is now known as the legend, in Namibia for apparently slapping corruption in the face. <laughs> but so this when now he like he disagreed. He disagreed, you know, and stand and stand on his ground that no, this is not true. I've been here and you guys come here and make the same promises, but you don't actually deliver on them. And I'm not going to stand for this. And I'm not going to sit here and keep quiet and listen to you guys telling us the same thing that you've been that you have told us ten years back. You know? 
so yeah this is when the whole this whole thing started then so it's just and i'm not saying that you know we are not saying that violence is an answer to these things you know but as people we react in different ways you know but yeah that's not even a valid reason for what happened but yeah and i'm not saying violence is an answer to what happened you know but this just shows how frustrated the people are really are so people in the country many people majority of the people stood up and uploaded the man on social media uh saying that he did well like yeah the people are um, the people are angry and all that and swapo as well being the ruling party people are angry to them due to the lack of you know service delivery so yeah and but some people came out to actually say that no he did uh, violence is not an answer he must not have um he must not have reacted in that manner so tell me if you were in that man's situation how would you have reacted do you think the man did actually a right thing slapping the political leader um slapping or punching the political leader or could have he reacted in a better manner or something like that what is your thought tell me in the comment section below and yeah just tell me what you think on this video